We are back this Sunday with more celebrations here on our channel, TV News MK. In this tribute video, we bring a list of iconic actors who passed away today, February 4, 2024. Legends who somehow contributed to their respective works and today unfortunately ended up passing away. Condolences to the family and fans, rest in peace. You show your love and affection by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel to follow us. Unfortunately, very sad news this Sunday. It happens that the Mexican novellas actress, Elena Rojo, passed away at early this Sunday, February 4th, at the age of 79. The cause of his death was reported and confirmed by his advisor on social media. The Mexican novel actress became famous for acting I and the Privilege of Love in 1998 and Caruso Savagem in 2009. She died at her home in Mexico City, according to Foro TV, a popular television network in Mexico. Helena had been diagnosed with liver cancer a few years ago. With more than 50 years in the artistic world, Helena began her career as a model in the 60s. She made her film debut with the film El Club de los Suicidas, 1970, and shortly after was hired by the broadcaster Televisa, in 1974. Their his first soap opera was Extraño en su Pueblo. The actress left behind three children, Elena, Patricia and Leo Rojo, all from her marriage to Juan Ferreira. She is also survived by her husband, Benjamin Fernandez. Really sitting. The actress will definitely be missed so much. We send sincere condolences to friends, fans and family. May she rest in peace. We ended up losing a very young actress. It happens to have passed away this Sunday morning, February 4th, the actress Poonam Pandey at 32 years of age. The information was confirmed on social media by his family members through a note. This morning is a difficult one for us. Deeply saddened to inform you that we have lost our beloved Poonam to cervical cancer. Every living form that came into contact with her was met with pure love and kindness, her family laird on Instagram. To India today, Parul Chavla, the actress manager, gave details about the cancer the artist faced. She was diagnosed with cancer recently and it was in the final stages. She was at her home in Uttar Pradesh, and the burial is expected to take place there, he said. In cinema, her last film was The Journey of Karma, not translated into Portuguese and not available in Brazil, released in 2018. The artist starred in Bollywood in 2013, in the film Nasha. The actress's last appearance was on the reality show Lock Up, reaching the semi-finals and placing seventh. In 2011, Poonam went viral when she said that she would be naked if India won the Cricket Cup. The country won the tournament, but the model did not keep her promise, due to public pressure. Her death is sorry. May the young actress rest in peace. Goodbye. Rest Warrior Unfortunately we regret another sad death. Actor Carl Weathers, 76 years old, passed away this Saturday night, February 3rd. He became very well known for his participation in Rocky and series like The Mandalorian. The information of his death was reported by his family. According to his manager Matt Luber, Weathers died peacefully at home, however, an no cause has been reported. Carl was an extraordinary human being who lived an extraordinary life, the family said in a statement sent to CNN. With his contributions to film, television, arts and sports, he left an indelible mark and is recognized worldwide and across generations. He was a beloved brother, father, grandfather, partner and friend. 
Carl Weathers was actually an American football player. He had never boxed when he auditioned to play Apollo Creed in Rocky. He won the role in the Oscar-winning film and in the next three sequels, Ward Matt Luber. Carl Weathers' other roles include Adam Sandler's The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, In the Heat of the Night, the Arrested Development series and the English dub of Toy Story as the Toy Army characters. The actor has also directed episodes of several TV series, including Chicago Med, Law and & Order and Hawaii Five-0. Weathers was married three times and leaves two children. Another death this weekend. Actor Don Murray passed away this Saturday, February 3rd, at the age of 94. He became well known for starring in the famous 1956 films, Bus Stop. The news of his death was confirmed by his son Christopher, however, the cause of death was not reported. In addition to the film adaptation of William Inga's play, which earned him an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor, Murray appeared in a number of films between the 1950s and 1990s, including Fame at Any Price, Storm Over Washington and Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Still on television, he acted in two seasons of Knott's Landing, in addition to writing episodes of the series in the early 1980s. In 2020, during an interview with Closer magazine, Murray recalled the experience of acting alongside Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn was very kind to me, he said of his love interest's performer. She was magnificent. I never understood why she wasn't nominated for an Oscar. Murray leaves five children. Two of them, Christopher and Patricia, with his first wife, Hope Lang. And three more children with Hope Lang, who was together in 1962, Colleen, Sean, and Michael. Sorry, rest in peace. Another sad death. This time a renowned president. This is the president of Namibia, Hage Gengob, who died at dawn this Sunday, at the age of 82. According to family information, he died in hospital on Sunday morning, weeks after being diagnosed with cancer. The post on social media platform X did not give a cause of death, but late last month the presidency said he would travel to the United States for treatment after being diagnosed with cancer following a regular medical checkup. Gingo died at Lady Pohamba Hospital in Windhoek, where he was receiving treatment from his medical team, the presidency said. As Prime Minister in 2014, he told the public he had survived prostate cancer. He became president the following year. Really very sad news. He will definitely be remembered for his very important roles. We regret his death. Rest in peace warrior. What would you do if you knew you were going to die soon? British TV presenter Johnny Irwin decided not to do anything extraordinary. He chose to spend all his time with his wife and three children. Some people in my situation make wish lists, but I just want to be with my family as much as possible, he said in an interview. The presenter died this Saturday, February 3rd, aged 50 from complications from lung cancer that had metastasized to the brain. He received his first diagnosis in August 2020. In charge of the program A Place in the Sun, on Channel 4, about beautiful properties, Johnny decided to keep the illness secret. But the devastating effects on his body soon revealed his poor health. In November 2022, he received the second diagnosis, the cancer had spread to his brain and nothing could be done to prevent the worst. The doctors gave me six months to live. 
I came home and told my wife, who was taking care of our twin babies, that she was going to be alone. It was devastating. I apologized, I felt guilty, he told Hello Magazine. To make matters worse, he was fired. He was left to live as best he could while waiting for the inevitable end. Without giving up, he got a job at the BBC. He worked to the limit of his strength. Always funny, he faced his illness with selfless determination and did his best to beat it. Goodbye old friend, the broadcaster said in a statement. In one of his last interviews, Johnny Irwin revealed the message he had written for his children to read after his death. Family first, always take care of your family. Your brothers, your mother. Put them first. Support them, love them and know that they are much more important than anyone else, he said at the time. Rest in peace.